Recently, retired Russian Air Force Commander Vladimir Popov told Russia Today, on September 16, 2025, that the MiG-41 long-range interceptor has completed its external design phase and is moving toward a prototype flight in the coming years. Developed under the PAC-DP program, the aircraft is positioned as the successor to the MiG-31, with the ambition of countering hypersonic missiles, stealth aircraft such as the F-35, and even satellites. Popov claimed that Russia's next-generation long-range interceptor, commonly designated as MiG-41 within the PAC-DP program, has reached the stage where its external configuration is finalized. He stated that the prototype is expected to perform its maiden flight within the next few years, describing the development as a continuation of design work originally initiated during the late Soviet period in the 1980s. According to him, the aircraft draws from earlier high-speed interceptor studies that were paused for decades and later resumed, with these concepts now being adapted into tangible hardware. Popov explained that this process allows the program to rely on existing groundwork while producing an entirely new platform intended to meet modern operational requirements. The MiG-41 is presented as the future replacement for the MiG-31 Foxhound, which remains in service but is increasingly limited in terms of modernization potential. Program descriptions associate the aircraft with unprecedented performance levels for an interceptor, including speeds above Mach 4, the ability to operate at near-space altitudes, and integration of advanced avionics. The aircraft is expected to exist in both manned and unmanned versions, with the latter derived from the baseline manned platform. Planned missions extend beyond traditional bomber interception to include the engagement of hypersonic missiles, stealth aircraft such as the F-35, and reconnaissance aircraft operating at very high altitudes. In addition, some roles envisioned for the MiG-41 include the destruction of targets in low Earth orbit, giving it a potential anti-satellite function. These wide-ranging tasks link the aircraft directly to Russian air defense strategies for the Arctic and northern approaches, where vast distances and long warning times require interceptors that can respond quickly and operate across a broad vertical envelope. However, the developmental timeline of the MiG-41 is rather phantomatic. The finalized external appearance was said to be completed by the end of 2019, after which a specific configuration was selected for further work. Wind tunnel trials and scale model testing followed, supporting the aerodynamic validation of the chosen design. In January 2021, it was announced that the program had formally entered the development stage, coinciding with continued research and evaluation of subsystems. Since then, Progress has been framed in terms of moving toward prototype assembly. Forecasts of a first flight have pointed to the middle of the 2020s, while the possibility of operational introduction has been described within the late 2020s or early 2030s. These schedules are not fixed and remain dependent on the ability to advance complex technical requirements and sustain financial investment. Performance objectives consistently highlight the ambition to achieve maximum speeds between Mach 4 and 4.3 and to operate at altitudes approaching near space which is one of the reasons behind those delays. To meet these demands, the MiG-41 is expected to employ advanced propulsion technology. Options under consideration include a variant of the Izdalai 30 engine family, already intended for the Su-57, as well as ramjet or combined cycle solutions capable of sustaining extended HIMOC crews. Stealth shaping is planned as part of the design to reduce detection, while avionics are to be modernized significantly beyond those of the MiG-31. Proposals also include a laser-based defensive system to counter incoming missiles, reflecting efforts to provide survivability in high-threat environments at extreme speeds. Additionally, provisions are envisioned for transforming the design into an unmanned version optimized for autonomous or remote-controlled missions. Indicative technical specifications portray the MiG-41 as a large aircraft with performance parameters that surpass current Russian interceptors. Figures that have been published include a twin-engine configuration, a top speed near 2,284 miles per hour under assumed operational conditions, a service ceiling of about 12,500 meters, and an operational range close to 5,000 kilometers. The design is described as having an approximate length of 25 meters, wingspan of 22 meters, and height of 6.5 meters.
Projected weights include an empty mass near 50,000 kg and a maximum takeoff weight around 100,000 kg. These values indicate a significantly larger and more powerful interceptor than the MiG-31, placing it in a category designed for very long-range operations and high-altitude missions. The MiG-41 is thus positioned as a hybrid of 5th and 6th generation technologies, combining stealth, reach, and speed in a single platform. Armament concepts linked to the interceptor emphasize internal carriage of long-range air-to-air weapons. One of the most frequently described systems is the MPKR-DP, a missile designed to carry and release multiple smaller submissiles in order to increase the probability of destroying hypersonic or highly maneuverable threats. Such a system would enable the MiG-41 to engage advanced targets at distances well beyond the capabilities of current Russian interceptors. Armament concepts linked to the interceptor emphasize internal carriage of long-range air-to-air weapons. One of the most frequently described systems is the MPKR-DP, a missile designed to carry and release multiple smaller submissiles in order to increase the probability of destroying hypersonic or highly maneuverable threats. Such a system would enable the MiG-41 to engage advanced targets at distances well beyond the capabilities of current Russian interceptors. Additionally, the aircraft is expected to have provisions for carrying anti-satellite missiles, extending its role into space-related missions by targeting objects in low Earth orbit. These offensive systems are to be paired with powerful radar and sensor arrays capable of scanning extremely wide sectors, which would allow the aircraft to track multiple targets simultaneously and direct engagements across expansive areas of airspace. The MiG the 31 Foxhound was the first mass-produced combat aircraft equipped with a phased array radar, allowing detection at ranges of about 320 km and missile launches at roughly 120 km. Its two-seat configuration, combined with a datalink system, allowed formations of four aircraft to cover large areas of airspace effectively. Modernized MiG 31BM aircraft remain in service with upgraded avionics while the MiG-31K variant carries the KH-47M-2 Kinshull hypersonic missile. This missile is described as having speeds near Mach 10 and a range of up to 2,000 km, and it has been promoted for strikes against fixed and high-value targets such as air defense installations. The MiG-31 fleet continues to play an important role, but its design is limited by age and modernization constraints, strengthening the argument for a new interceptor capable of greater performance and wider mission flexibility, such as the MiG-41. However, continuous flight above Mach 4 imposes extreme thermal loads on the airframe, requiring advanced cooling systems, specialized heat-resistant materials, and careful management of onboard power supplies. These engineering challenges are compounded by the need for new avionics, large sensor arrays, and advanced propulsion capable of meeting the demanding requirements of sustained hypersonic interception. In addition to technical barriers, economic pressures, and competing defense priorities create difficulties for program funding and industrial capacity. Although these factors raise uncertainty about the timeline and scope of the project, proponents argue that Russia's experience with the MiG-25 and MiG 31 demonstrates knowledge of high-speed interceptor design that can be applied to the MiG-41 program, but the exact outcome and timing remain dependent on overcoming these challenges. While the announcement of a finalized design and an upcoming MiG-41 prototype suggest steady progress, Russia has experienced long-standing difficulties in delivering on advanced fighter programs. The Su-57 has been introduced in limited numbers after years of delay, with questions surrounding engine readiness, avionics integration, and serial production capacity. Early discussions of sixth-generation concepts remain confined to models and outlines rather than operational prototypes. These realities indicate that even if the MiG-41 has moved through design stages, the transition from drawings to a reliable high-speed interceptor will be far more difficult. Popov's statements, therefore, represent intent and confidence in the project but their credibility rests on whether Russia can overcome the same industrial and technological obstacles that have slowed other advanced aircraft initiatives.
Popov's remarks serve as the latest update on an ambitious project that will need to overcome many of the same challenges that continue to affect other advanced Russian aircraft programs.